I'm at my machine now, so let's talk about machine applique. It's a great way to secure those raw edges and keep them from becoming frayed, and it's a great way to just sew down your turned under edges too. So the first thing we want to uh, consider is the thread that we're going to use. So you want to add that extra layer um, when you're doing a lot of, uh, of heavy thread work so that it'll stabilize that. You don't skip stitches and your stitch line uh, will be um, look much nicer and more finished and then that just tears out of your way. So I'm going to actually do the stitch here in a minute, but let's talk about it for a minute. This is um, part of the lighthouse, which you'll see later, and I have fused right on top of it the, the little red stripes that go on top of the lighthouse, and it's just fused on the background fabric, and then underneath of it um, I've put the tearaway stabilizer. The stitch that I like to use for my machine applique work is a very narrow, flat, zigzag stitch. And on my Bernina, that means that it's about a 2.0 in width. And then instead of bringing it all the way down like you would for a satin stitch where it's really a built up thick thread line, I like to back that out a bit so that it stays nice and flat. And that's about a 0 0.3 in stitch length. So 2.0 in width and 0 0.3 in length. So primarily what you're trying to do is secure what's ever on top to what's ever underneath. So the majority of your zigzag needs to be on this object that's on top, the top layer, with one little zag over to the uh, catch that underlying background fabric to secure it to that. I like to go ahead and get my machine started so you can kind of watch me as I'm doing this. I like to um, keep my needle position down with that so it stays down so that it will, um, if I need to turn the machine, that I can pick that up and, and move it around with the needle staying down so that um, I don't skip any stitches. So I've got it on my zigzag now and I'm just going to head along this edge here. And it doesn't, if you have this stabilizer underneath of it, it doesn't pull down into the feed dogs and it leaves a really nice, even, consistent uh, stitch line. I like working on these objects if, uh, if I can while they're still just nice and small, like complete this whole little lighthouse as a, as a unit. Uh, because on my bigger, um, bigger and bigger landscape quilts, it's harder to get to the centers of things where all of uh, these objects might be. So if you can do as much of the machine applique work as you can when they're just small little units, it's um, really helpful. So we're just going to finish up here that line and then I would just uh, pull this away and then I would just take this stabilizer and just rip it right out of there.